going to sing. Amen? And so we find ourselves at the Jordan, just like all through the Bible, especially in the Old Testament, you find the Jordan was a place of transition. Yeah. And the axe was being laid at the root. Yeah. How many know we know that's Jesus? Yeah. Jesus is axe laid at the root. And that brings us to verse 8. It says, in fact, verse 7, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to the baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? And they were trying to flee the wrath. The wrath wasn't necessarily damnation, but the wrath was uh, God himself dismantling the previous administration. Right. There's a dismantling happening in the earth today. We have fossilized Christianity. We have a Christianity that's becoming hollow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. God doesn't have to remove something completely to, re to, to, to remove himself from it. That's good. You know what I'm saying? God don't have to destroy it right. or destroy a thing to, 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 to no longer cohabit with it. Right. In other words, you can have a shell or something. Right. You can have a building uh -huh. and it, the building can sit, but it can remain unoccupied. So we have places in the spirit that are unoccupied. And God intentionally is leaving those structures in place. That's why it's important to hear from God. Amen. 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 How many know it's important to hear from God? Amen. Amen. Now, this, the message that, that John the Baptist was bringing was bring forth, therefore, fruits meet for repentance. And we talked about how it's very important for us to have, what? Fruits. But we cannot produce fruit without being repentant. And repentant means to change your mind. Verse 9, it says, think not to say within yourselves. And that's what the church does. We always look for that safe haven within ourselves. We start analyzing ourselves. We have Abraham to our father. So they were trying to uh, verify that they have a right to. The, the religious system was saying, you know what? We have a father. His name is Abraham. There won't be anything you can do, ge genealogy, mm -hmm. uh, or by uh, uh, birth, natural birth. So your genealogy won't have anything to do with it. That's why he said in John, the first chapter, he said that we're not born of the flesh or the will of man or of blood. So it won't be by status or anything. That's, that's, the, that's, that's why it's so precious to have faith. So it won't be anything that I can connect to naturally. This is by the Spirit. That's what he was telling me. It's by the Spirit. Okay? It says, for I say unto you that God is able to raise up these stones... And now, also, the axe is laid into the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth forth not fruit, bringeth forth not, bringeth not forth good fruit, is what? Hewn down and cast into the fire. That ain't hell. Mm -hmm. The fire that's on the earth now, the fire that's been kindled for 2,000 years, that fire that's picking up steam, that, that fire that resides in the heart of those who are committed to the Lord. There's a fire burning on the inside of you. It's connected to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. How many know there's a fire in you? Yes, sir. There should be a fire in you, okay? It should be a wick. It should be a flame on the inside of you. It should be a fire and a desire uh -oh. on the inside. <laughs> Where that come from? Praise the Lord. But there should be a desire and a fire. Put it that's reversed then. On the inside of you. It causes you to want more of God. Amen. Amen. And so we, we went to uh, a couple of things, and I believe we talked about how uh, the axe is laid, and we said we, we identified what the axe was being laid. The axe is the word of God. The word of God connects us to the kingdom. The kingdom connects us to Jesus. Jesus is the axe. Okay? And we mentioned how that the axe can become dull because our own concepts, our own perceptions, our own, we did a whole list of stuff, merity, disregard, and piety, and all those different things. And we said that religion itself can make the acts dumb. Yeah. One, the last thing we mentioned, that wrong associations. Mm -hmm. Got to make sure who you connected to. Mm -hmm. You got to find the church that, that carries your DNA. Mm -hmm. You just can't belong to a church just to attend a church. Right. You got to find a church that has your DNA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First of all, you got to find out why, why does a church exist. If you never know why God placed the church as an entity in the earth, you have a problem finding the church to fit you. You know, because everybody has their own idea of why churches exist. <clears throat> and churches exist, Ephesians 4, 11, and 12. Mm -hmm. Those are the things, that's the reason why a church should exist. 
Not because somebody had an idea, because ideas have consequences and ideas have expiration dates. 